Hello, my name is Whitney Lowe, and I decided to do REI. One of the reasons I chose to do REI was I was actually um, looking to buy some new ski gear, and I ended up on this website, and I was like, wow, this is an awesome website for more reasons than one. Um, just to getting started, um, you come up to the REI webs website, and it has coupons, um, or things that are on sale. Um, it's just very, very appealing, and it does make you want to buy things, which is the goal of a lot of people's websites. But on top of this, when you are navigating through, you can go into expert advice. This is one thing I really did like, because for people that don't know and are wanting to know new things about different activities, they can actually go and click on camping, for example, and it has articles from experts on checklists, um, tips, just very, very cool. You can even go to fitness and it will have it even modified even more. You can go into yoga, cross training, trail training, and then you can even go into skills and checklists if you were going to be going on some sort of activity. Um, it even goes to the extent of travel, travel articles, um, just all sorts of really awesome things. When you go back to REI, you, it's very, very organized. You can search for gear up here and a keyword. Say you're looking for hiking pants, you can type in hiking pants and it pops straight up to it. Or you can even go to camp and hike and click on the link. And it has backpacks, kitchen, furniture, water, lighting, everything that you need for hiking besides just the normal shoes or um, stuff even if you wanted to stay the night, pads and um, hammocks. It's super, super awesome, super easy to navigate. Um, another part I really liked about it was the REI garage. And just kind of like a sale if you're looking to get something a little bit cheaper. Um, has a very awesome deals. Even when you do go back again, um, I really do like how you can go on the stores because sometimes, especially when you are going hiking, camping, skiing, just um, pretty much anywhere, you kind of want to go try on the gear. Um, so you can go to wherever you are. So I'm from Washington, originally from Olympia, Washington. So I can actually, I see on here that there's an Olympia. I can either scroll down and look through the options right here, or I can go click on the O, and it has, oh, I guess it has all the states, so that's super cool. So on Washington, it has Bellevue, Alderwood, uh, Tequila, um, it has the locations in the map, and it's all very, very accurate. Um, another reason I liked um, REI's website was just because of the colors, it's very nature, um, it's appealing. It's what you expect a website that's outdoors with the greens and the browns to look like. It's even on a background, as you can see, background wood platform it almost looks like. I just think it's very um, organized. Even if you just go click on just the regular I want to buy things website, you can um, go for the specific links, um, the brands, number of paddlers, the price range you want. And it's super organized and... Yeah, I just think REI is an overall really good website because it has additional resources outside and it's easy to navigate. Um, it has drop down links, so if you can't scroll, you are able to um, with that option. And yeah, so that is my. Hi, my name is Olivia Olson and I'm going to be reviewing Pinterest. Um, there are a few downfalls to Pinterest. I had, I chose Pinterest as an okay slash bad website for various reasons, so I will go into that, but it's easier to show you the screen of Pinterest so that I can watch. So my first reason that I think that Pinterest is a okay slash bad website is that it can be seen as very overwhelming. So this is my Pinterest page, um, and up here I, in the search engine I just typed in education. So there's all these little links up here that connect to education. Um, it can be seen as really overwhelming. Um, it could narrow your search, but also maybe not everything inside of each of these tabs is specifically related to, say, first grade or related to college or special education. Um, there's also a lot of different colors, which is can 
be sensory overload for some people, even students that are using this as a resource possibly, which is really difficult for students. Um, another reason that I think that Pinterest is just an okay slash bad website is that like right here we have a photo and each photo has captions on it. So this one, the photo says seven easy accommodations for students with ADHD. So if I really wanted to click on, say I really wanted these accommodations, I was really struggling with a student with ADHD, um, I go to click on this, but also I'm reading the caption. It says sweet and spicy bacon wrapped chicken tenders. Um, the caption definitely does not correlate with the photo, which is difficult for people with disabilities using this resource. Um, as well as teachers or anybody, really. Uh, it's difficult for people with visual impairments because the maybe they can't see the photograph. Um, maybe the contrast of the writing in the photograph is really hard to read, so they read the caption and it doesn't match, which is a downfall. So I'm going to click on this page. There's more um, about the chicken tenders that does not correlate to the accommodation part of this photo so I'm going to click on a photo to go to the link and it does in fact bring up it looks like a blog maybe um, or just some type of internet post where it does talk about these accommodations which is good but also at the same time the um, caption is not anywhere close to relating to the photo which is also a drawback so we'll go back to Pinterest here so like I mentioned there are a lot of resources that educators can use on Pinterest so I typed in teaching reading um, common topic um, there's a lot of great strategies so like this one 25 ways to teach sight words great I want to know how to teach sight words I'm gonna go to this link and it comes up with an individual's blog so yes these are great strategies to use and they may be very helpful for students to learn um, but they're also not research-based or evidence-based practices which can be a downfall to using Pinterest we'll go back to Pinterest here and find another one so this one also is from a blog based on the URL up here. Um, so this teacher just found that these types of activities work for her students. Um, maybe they won't work for your students. Um, they can be related to evidence-based practices, but at the same time, they're, they are not themselves or they are not presented to you in a way that gives them that credibility. So as educators, just be aware that you are required to use evidence-based practices f to help students learn. Um, it's a lot easier and is a lot more beneficial than just using any strategy that you find. So just be aware of that when you use Pinterest, that a lot of them are from blogs. So they may or may not work. Um, they're not supported by any research, but also it can be beneficial to just get a quick strategy I also think that's one of the benefits to using Pinterest is that um, if you're in a quick pinch and you need a, just relating it back to education, if you need um, maybe to find a book that students are going to be interested in. So like this link gives you book ideas and how they can be used in the classroom. Um, so it can be used for things like that. Um, some strategies like I said they're not evidence-based but also they may be helpful to use um, in correlation to and using them with evidence-based practices hello my name is Bradley Cameron and I did the nasty website for my group and so the website that I decided to use was called Liberty Van and as you can see um, here's kind of what the website looked like um, a lot of links on this website so I was a little overwhelmed with with that when first looking at this website and so the three the first reason for the website that I thought that it was bad 
because it is doesn't have a strong appeal to your eye. Uh, you're you just get really confused when looking at it. Um, just it's just really clustered, and um, you know you just don't even know where to f focus or begin on this page. Um, the next thing I talked about uh, was that it really has no title. Um, I clicked on it and it did have a title on the main web search, which was Liberty Van, but as you can see, there's no real title that stands out on this page, so it's hard to notice the title. Also, there's no index or table of contents on this particular website, so it's very hard to navigate throughout it. And there's no sponsor provider for this website. Um, it, at the top it says that it's a personal website and that it kind of has, has her link here to her Facebook page, which makes me think that it's just not a very reliable uh, website. Uh, like I said, it's hard to navigate through this website. It has a lot of different links and there's no directions for using this website. So I'm not really sure what all these links are to or what they're for. It just has a whole bunch of links listed throughout the whole website. Um, like I said, this website is just really hard to follow. And I also noticed um, with messing around on this page that a lot of the links don't even work. Um, I don't know if I can find one right now. Uh, but there's just a lot of different links that took me to a dead link or, or another link like this of one of her own pages. Um, so, but there was a lot of the links that were just led me to nothing and they were outdated or, or whatnot. And also for the last, uh, problem with this page is the presentation of content. So, um, I couldn't really find, figure out what the content they were presenting for this, on this website. I know it has to do with something with this van over here. There's a lot of different pictures about the van, but I'm kind of unsure as to what exactly they want you to know about this van. Uh, there's, it's not labeled or organized at all, and there's no real format that's followed throughout this, this website at all, so it makes it that much tougher to navigate through it. And also, um, the information uh, is not easy to follow, like I said, and the links are not organized at all. There's just random links throughout this whole page. Um, all the way to the bottom, there's still links. Um, so this is why, these are the reasons why I found this website to be a very nasty website. Hi, so I chose to do the Centers for Disease Control educational website for my review. Um, I chose this website because it's full of tons of different information. This is something I have used in class. Um, I've used this to teach some of my students for my practicums. Um, so I figured this would be a good one to review. Um, so I did like this website. Um, the information is all up to date. It's easy to find at the bottom of each article. It states the the month, the year, the day that um, it has been reviewed. Um, there's a link that takes you directly to the place where the information was found. Um, and all links that I clicked on worked properly. They were easy to navigate, easy to find. Um, there are pictures and it's very colorful, so that's something I really like. Um, I don't like seeing a dull website that's just black and white, doesn't have pictures. Um, so this has pictures where you can easily see uh, what picture goes with what information. Um, it helps me create a better graphic and understanding of what I am I am reading. Um, the information on the website is accurate, it's error free. All the information on the site is credible um, and it's peer reviewed. Um, there are experts who review the site before it's published and ensure that it's high quality, accurate information. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys a little bit of the website real quick, um, just to, to give you a look at what I am um, I am explaining. So as you can see, I use the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website. Um, as I mentioned in the other video, this was a great educational website that I have used in previous classes. Uh, I just want to navigate a little bit around this. Um, as you can see, there's lots of pictures. It's different colors, colorful. It's easy to get around. Um, there is an index in which you can search anything through letter A through Z. 
um, diseases and conditions, healthy living, everything you can think of is pretty much on this site. Um, if you click on a link, you'll see that all the information is up to date. You can find this by looking at the bottom left hand corner. It says page last reviewed and updated. So this is April 2nd, 2018. Um, you can see that there's this the content source where you can click on this. You can see where all the information comes from. Um, all of the links work properly, are easy to use, functionable. Um, the information on the website is all accurate information. It's error free. Um, all the information is cited. It's credible. It's peer reviewed. Um, there are experts who review this website um, and ensure that it is high quality, accurate information. We can go around and just look at it for a second. Like I said, it's very colorful. There's lots of pictures. The pictures helped me kind of get a better visual of what I was uh, reading about. Um, and again, it's just very educational, lots of information, and very easy to navigate.